and I hadn't. So, pff, that's embarrassing. Well, <laughs> you'll see me after the cut, because no way in heck I'm making you watch that again. So, once again, a note, save often, and when you're getting a new controller, be extra careful. Also, this is a rather unlovely sight that I just wanted to show really quick. If you go to Maria at this point, it says that her body just lies still, and I'll keep saying this if you peek out and back in. It looks just terrifically sad, but we're going to have to go and get Fina and Rhea to talk about the goddess statue again. Um, we're also going to grab another roast beef off camera, and then I'll meet you up back in the hallway where I was murdered before. <sighs> Lovely good time. And we're back! This was just another little embarrassing moment. Admittedly, it's easier to do diagonal the way I'm used to on the keyboard, or at least not using analog, though it is easier to use analog against bosses because it gives you a greater range of movement, yet, oddly contrary to that, you don't want as much movement, when, at least as much options for movement, when you're fighting normal enemies. Because normal enemies in this game are very weak against hitting them while holding up and the direction that they are at from you. In other words, or, you know, down in the direction. So just holding the diagonal corner as opposed to being very skillful at that. Like in East 1, you'd want to line up with them, hit them in a special way. Beast 2, it's not that it's easier, though it is in that respect, but other things make up for it. The enemies are definitely smarter about how they can, well, decimate you. But as you recall, we need that black pearl, and... well, where are we gonna find that? That is definitely a good question. That's something that we're gonna need to look for a little bit. But now that we have Zava dead, things are going to work out... they're, they're already moving in our favor now that Zava's not around. Because she's been a big nasty blight on everything. Yeah, a very, very nasty blight. So having her gone is a good thing. The fact that... Well, no, nah, I'm not going to talk about that. Um, but one thing I was saying... Actually, you know what? I'm, rather than wandering around for a long time, since you've seen most of Solomon Train already, as I've mentioned, I'm going to do the Annoying Lake work. Well, not really annoying. It's actually fun. I really do love the fighting in this game. Just wandering around, it's... Very fun, but that might not be as exciting to watch as it is to play. So, rather than bore you through that, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to pause the video, look around for the next interesting point of interest. I'll be saving often so that I'll load right beforehand, and we'll continue from there. Um, if you like or dislike this way of doing it, let me know. You know, if you'd prefer to see all the in-between... Let me know if you'd rather just see the good stuff. Let me know. Um, I do eventually intend to do some more traditional RPGs, and I've already decided the way I'm going to do it is... I'm not going to do ones that are just battling. They'll have to have something else, too, or be a in more interactive battle system than, say, Final Fantasy. Um, it would always be a... Here's how these enemies react and that are random encounters. Now, I'll just do the rest, and you can... You, you know, you'll watch as I go through the dungeon, but not as I fight all the enemies. Uh, but let me know what you think. And regardless, you will see me after the cut. And welcome back. Uh, here we are again in Ramia Village. Might be wondering, why are we in Ramia Village? Well, as you'll remember, Keith was the one that had the Black Pearl. Yeah, the Black Pearl? What's a Black Pearl? Ah, it must be that stone you gave me when you got me out of the cave. Oh, I have it right here. Eh? right here. Or not. It's gone. Oh no, there's a hole in my pocket. So small, I don't know if I can find it again. I had it before I got back to the village. I know I had it in my pocket when I was talking to that guy with the funny eyes who minds the gate in front of the shrine. I'm sorry, mister. Was it important? Adel could have comforted the boy and said he would find it himself. I'm really sorry. I lost that black pearl after I got here. Someone must have picked it up. Well, good thing is... Someone has the Black Pearl, and that's what's important. I always swore that Keith had it, but guess he got it back. Gordo, Black Pearl? I saw him a man in a black cloak bend down and pick up a pebble or something a little while ago. I'll bet that's what he grabbed. Speaking of whom, where did he go? 
That's strange. I only just took my eyes off of him for a second. Oh. So, yeah. Guess who had it? Um, yeah. That's never going to be a good thing. Wish he would just give me what was in that chest. Do you need anything? At all? I'm just going to check if he has anything else to say. Yeah, not really anything good when we mention what happened to Maria. But we will change that. Because, well, we're magical, and if you notice, her body was intact. So the sacrifice isn't exactly a thousand swords of hatred tearing her apart. Which is generally a good thing. But, yeah, guy bending over to pick up the Black Pearl? Generally not a good thing. Huh? Weren't you the one who came through here a little while ago? Well, who in the world did Gordo allow to pass? Yeah... That's... That's kind of really not a good thing. Like at all. That pennant is supposed to be a, the sort of pass that denotes authority to enter the Goddess's Palace. Looks like it's made of Claria. You should be able to use it to open the way to the Goddess's Palace. Yeah, we already knew that old man. You're helpful and nice enough, but that's not really going to get us anywhere now, is it? Helpful and nice, that is. <sighs> we kind of have a problem here. But that means that we're going to have to go back and, well, tear it from Dallas's hands, I guess. Back to the Goddess's Palace. They have nothing really useful to tell us. Or, I didn't step on the right spot. You have the Dreaming Stone Idol. Da. Find the Black Pearl. Yeah. Kinda don't have it. And it sounds like Dells does. <sighs> Gotta love that guy. He really knows how to kick you when you're already feeling down. That's kind of his whole shtick, though. Kick, 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 kick. Don't think there's anything about that guy that's not a kick. I mean, you're already down. So, now that we've gotten that little bit of information, you're gonna see, you're gonna see me get a little bit of revenge against these guys using the analog stick, just to show that I can do it, even if it's not as efficient in this game. I don't know, it's just easier to hit the diagonals on a D-pad for me. I can hit the card, it's pretty good. The analog's a little bit trickier. Eh. So, yeah, we have a little bit of a problem. We have to find the Black Pearl. It's not quite a Moon Pearl. It's even more necessary, because you can beat most of Zelda Link to the Past without the Moon Pearl. So, yeah. We're going to cut again, and you'll join up with me again once we have some excitement. Why, you might ask, are we back out here as a room? Well, you're going to see. The meeting is finally over. Apparently Lord Dow's recovered something that brought the meeting to a close. What do you bring in? Beats me. Maybe something he picked up, but I don't know for sure. What do you bet? That's not the Black Pearl. Well, I can tell you with a great surety that it is. So you'll meet me after I've gone to that meeting room. And we're back. Here we are. We couldn't actually go in here before. We only saw it. The meeting room. But there's something else in here now that wasn't before. And that was the Black Pearl that we just regained. So as you can see, we've got ourselves a wonderful little Black Pearl again. Which just leaves us with one, two, three items not gotten there. And... Oh, yep, we missed something. We have no ability to get the last magic yet. The last item is actually rather storyline important. And these three are, too, in their own little way. If you can guess what it is, you're ahead of the game. But this little thing here, we're going to take a little bit of a pit stop to grab really fast, as, well, it's gold, so it's pretty. So after we get that, we'll go back to the goddesses, And but you'll see me right outside that tre treasure chest, because I already should have gotten it. I just completely forgot where it was until right now. And here we are. Um, you won't recognize this area right off the bat, because we, well, we were never exactly in here, but this was where, just over here, up there, where we met Keith in the canal. So, um, could have easily had this before Zava, would have been helpful. The battle shield obtained it was, oh yeah. 
So now we'll just go and equip that. And what's that like in this game? Pretty nifty. A golden shield of immense pr of, uh, of immense strength offers protection against any physical attack. Absolutely awesome. So now we have all that sorted out. We have ourselves a black pearl. Just to make sure. Or ah, we do have ourselves a black pearl. I just have to go and fetch it again. So after we get the black pearl in a little bit of a cut, then we'll be all ready to talk to the goddesses and continue on our quest. Join me then. And we're back, finally at the goddesses' palace with the black pearl in our possession. So let's see what they have to say to that. Ought to be good. The faint light coming from the black pearl, now set in the dream stone's idol's forehead, begins to shine more brightly. Now please break our people's curse. Travel to the top of the bell tower, and raise the idol towards the heavens, to undo the spell of petrification. The final battle draws nigh. We have called the priest's descendants to come and join us here in the shrine. It won't be long before they arrive, and all they're gathered in the ancient underground core of Ys. Please hurry and follow them. Hmm. All of them, huh? That must mean we get a little bit of a reuniting with Luda, Gobon, all of them. Not to mention that someone special was supposed to be holding on to that golden pendant for, well, Rhea, not Rhea, Fina, and big question of where it is. I think you can probably guess who has it. Shouldn't really be all that hard. But we're gonna go and fix that spell of petrification. Because petrification spells are what we fix. We're drawing in on the end game here. Sadly, Maria's body is gone. What could that mean? Definitely nothing good. Also, if you'll remember, Sada one of the people who was stoned, as we saw before it, announced him as a swordsman, but we saw the flashback. We know it was him, even if Adel doesn't. Um, he'd be fine after we raise this Black Pearl up. So, we'll be there soon. We'll get to see what happens. Oh, so this is idol uh, only in our inventory for a brief time like this. Dreaming Stone Idol, bust of a, in the form of a holy woman from ancient times, provides healing. And you can see the black pearl, even though it looks big there, fits perfectly into her head. So adel has got himself a pretty nice-sized backpack. And we're very, very close to the top. Debated cutting this, but it adds a little bit of anticipation, I think. And here we are. Lilia in the corner to remind us what we're here to save. As our mascot, as you'll see. Right there. A little bit of extra anticipation there. Dun, 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 dun. This music is just awesome. But we get up to the top. And... When Adol holds the dreaming I stone Adol to the heavens, a bright light shoots from its forehead. Isn't that just one of the most awesome special effects you've ever seen? And we level up. Not at max level but high enough to get max HP and MP. Which is definitely awesome. So, now the question becomes, what do we do now? We've gotten quite a bit accomplished. We only have one spell, one set of armor, one accessory to get, and that final battle's gotta be coming soon. You'd be right to say those things, because it is one of my favorite final battles, as it is it continues the pace of bullet hell, but it changes things up for what we've been experiencing for a while here. And change for a final battle without it being a complete change, I think is awesome. It gives you a little bit of a, alright, you've learned the game, now use it, as opposed to bullet hell and fireballs. But, well, who do you think the final battle is? Against, that is. It might not be who you think. Or it might be. Who knows? Cast your votes now. Maria's still not there, sadly. If anything happens when we step out here, I'm pretty sure not. Though that haunting music is just great. 